with the squad Mess with one of us You ain't messing with my vision Messing with the money You ain't messing with the uh, Mike, before you go, tell me the story about uh, the KJ Hale recruitment because I haven't really looked at the detail. I, I saw some, some 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 Twitter going back and forth, but I never looked into the detail. So if you could give me a, a detail on what happened with KJ Hill's recruitment to Ohio State. Well, I mean, I I, I follow KJ Hill's uh, recruitment. I feel like I followed, followed it uh, very closely since I live here in Arkansas, since I moved here back in uh, 2010. And um, <laughs> basically, you had Chris Ash, who had just left Ar Arkansas uh, to become the defensive coordinator at Ohio State. Um, he came there to uh, revamp Ohio State's defense and get out of that zone and go more to uh, man's quarters. And Chris Ash had, was actually the head recruiter for KJ Hill's uh, family. So he had already had a relationship with the mom and the dad and KJ. So when he came to Ohio State, you know, he began recruiting KJ Hill. And uh, even though KJ was, you know, committed to Arkansas and everybody thought he was going to Arkansas, um, and all of a sudden, I guess, when KJ Hill was about to visit Ohio State, uh, this came out via Minister Society podcast that I had no clue, no idea about. But Brett Bielum called uh, Chris Ash and left a voicemail and said, "Hey, uh, don't worry about KJ coming up there for the official, uh, official visit. It's canceled." <laughs> um, so obviously, I mean, not not snitching, but you know they had to check in on this. Hey, so they said, hey KJ, you know we got this voicemail <laughs> call from Ben Bela, uh saying that you weren't coming, um, and then KJ was pissed. His his parents were pissed, and uh, I mean that was <laughs> that's just some dumb Arkansas stuff. That I mean, and a lot of a lot of Arkansas fans gave KJ so much flag and his they family did. so they much did. flag. And I mean, nobody turned around and said sorry to the boy. But I, I even put it to you like this: even if that situation did not happen, why would he, as a wide receiver, go to Arkansas, where your leading reception is your tight end? Mm. I don't know. Nice. You know he, 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 did, he would have never had a quarterback. If I you want to make it to the next level, if you want to be elite. You have to choose, and I mean, this goes back. Let's, I mean, Julian Fleming committing to Ohio State, and everybody thought he was going to Penn State, and it all came down to Ohio State being elite. And I really think last year Ohio State being Penn State, the press conference that James Franklin had led to uh, Julian Fleming not coming there, and these recruits decommitting, committing to Florida. Or just decommitting, period, mm -hmm. because he sat on stage and said that his program is not elite. If these kids are wanting to go to the next level, they're going to pick an elite program. They're not going to pick a program where a coach is saying, oh, we're good, uh, we're, we're average. They're not going to do that. Yeah. And yeah. You, can't, you, cannot, you cannot blame these kids. I mean, as Especially a lot of these kids, you know, some of them come from less fortunate backgrounds. So if they're trying to get to the league, I'm not going to Arkansas. Not until Arkansas shows me something. I feel you, man. I think I think we I think we as a fan base and things like that, people gotta realize that there's always more recruits. You know, if a recruit does not choose your school, move on and try to get the player who wants to be at your school like i said you never know what motivates a kid one kid may say hey i want to get to the league i want to be on tv i'm going to go to miami i'm going to go to ohio state somebody may say hey i want to build a program up i want to be the reason the program gets turned around i'm going to go to this or i really believe in the coach you never know you never know about that but you just gotta accept their decision and move on but my